Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can set up correctly your Google Analytics. So let's dig into it. Now I've been digging into a lot of uh, videos, a lot of blogs of how you can do this in a very easy way. But I think um, so far I haven't found something like interesting because everything is really lazy and there's nothing to let's say there's nothing to learn from those videos from those blogs so we thought that we can create our own video and see if this one brings so uh, much value for you and you can understand how the Google Analytics works so I'm gonna be this is gonna be a step a small step a really easy step for the basics if you don't know absolutely anything about the Google Analytics so let's just jump into it so first of all I'm gonna be showing you something related into the Google Analytics and this one is called meta now if I go into the Creator Studio of Meta, uh, you might going to be seeing something like this. The Creator Studio of the Meta is going to be helping us to manage posts to the monetizing and all this stuff from Facebook and Instagram. Both applications are going to be just in one option. So if I hit into try it out, here I can see all the analytics of my of my ads, of my audience, of what's their age, of how this the, my campaign has getting so far. So, if Facebook has their own, um, let's say, analytics, Google, of course, has their own. So now you basically know what this Google Analytics does. So as you can see, it says give your uh, free tools to analyze data for your business in one place. So. Uh, if you are not working here into Facebook, if you are not using social media, if you're using only, let's say, for example, Google, you are using YouTube, you are using all the tools from Google, well, the Google is going to be helping us to measure our, our data, right? And they are for free, so I think it's really, really great. So what I want to do is to sign into my Google account. As you can see, now I'm in here, and I want to hit into the analytics Dot google com and once I am in here what I want to do is to go into the start measuring and I'm gonna hit in here so there we go now what we need to do is to create an account that can contain more than one tracking ID this one is going to be helping us to um, to say the Google Analytics like this is our own ID. So what I want to do is to create my account details. Let's say, for example, I'm going to create something like this. Here are the account data sharing settings. So this one is not uh, required, but if you want to add that, like to contribute some data and help Google Analytics to provide like a better service and solutions, technical issues and all that, you can enable whatever you want to do. I'm going to just enable all of them hit into next here into the property details you want to create your property name if you don't know what to create uh, the property I mean this one is going to be representing our business website so what I want to do is to create like Matt Steve because I don't know what's the property name but if I want to create something like more interesting I could just um, do something later here into the reporting time zones I'm going to leave it like that because this is what I want to be working if you are from Mexico City, from Afghanistan, from Argentina to Cuba, then just edit your own as you wish. If you want to go into the advanced options, this is a universal analytics property. This one is going to be helping us to, uh, let's say, to have more advanced tools for the previous versions of the Google Analytics. So since we are actually new here, we don't want to uh, focus in here. We just want to hit into next. And this is a very important part. The more information we add to Google Analytics, the more they understand what what does our business runs, what do we do. So they're going to be helping us. They're going to be providing us with a bunch of tools depending on where we are at. So in the industry category, I want to choose arts and entertainment, or let's get into games. And here into the business size, let's say that this is just small. Let's say, for example, that I am a gamer, I am a, a streamer uh, into Twitch, and I'm creating YouTube videos, and I want to create like a business based on on my profile as an influencer, right? 
So, so this is not only for people who are selling online. This is not only for e-commerce business. This is not only for the big industries. This could be a small uh, for one employee if you want to. So here, how do you intend to use Google Analytics? Let's be really honest so we can get the right information that we want to. We want to measure customer engagement with my site. We want to optimize for experience. We want to measure data across. We want to increase my conversions. I'm going to be showing you what this one means. I'm going to analyze my sales. This one does not apply to us. If not, not and no. So I'm going to hit into create. So these are the terms of service of the United States. If you want to change from another country, you can choose that. Accept it as a data processing. Take your time to read all of this. I do read all of this. And a few months before, I'm just making this um, video. I'm just creating this stuff only for uh, this demonstrations. But you guys just read and go into I accept. Once we have successfully done that, we just need to have to enable our email communications to receive like suggestions, updates, announcement, feedback and testing offers from Google. If you are quite new and you want the Google team to help you like every day with your Google Analytics, enable those. If you think that this won't be helping you and this was just going to be considered as spam, then go into safe. Leave it like that. So we have the tool of the Google Analytics number four. So actually this one looks a little bit um, updated like last time that I just signed it in. And actually I think it looks much more f uh, easier to use. So here we have the navigation of the reports. So we can track different, uh, let's say insights of what we are looking for. I'm gonna hit into X button. And here we can just start collating data. So we can choose an Android application, an iOS application, or a website, a custom website. So here, if I go into the reports, I can see the reports of the ads of the tracking conversion that I just created. So as you can see, I don't have any data streams. I need to set up a stream to data collected into my property. So what I want to do, first of all, is to go into the home section and collect. Um, I'm going to choose website and here into my website. I want to select my specific website. If you have not created anything yet, well, you can just use the website of your or wherever you have your uh, clients or your fans or whatever. So here I'm going to be choosing merge and hit into create stream. And there we go. So here, what we need to do, it says um, uh, the data collection isn't active for your website. If you installed tags more than 28 hours, make sure they're set up correctly. So this is our stream name, our stream URL, our ID and our measurement ID. So what we need to do in order to receive all our information is to install uh, correctly our website into the Google Analytics in order to like the application help us to drag all that information and actually see that inside their own analytics. So I need to choose view tagged instructions and here I want to choose install with a website builder or CMS. So here as you can see if you made your site using one of these platform listed below you can finish it up your Google tag without making changes to your code. So get installation instructions by scanning the URL or choosing your website platform. So here what I want to do is to choose a valid URL and hit into scan. So once I hit into scan, it's going to be creating the supported platforms. As you can see, I can show more of them. If you're creating a platform using Wix or Squarespace or whatever option you used, it's going to be really, really simple. If you uh, didn't do it, then go into the install manually. So here into the install manually, below is the Google tag for this icon. Copy and paste this into every page of your website after the head element. Don't add more than one Google tag to each page. So what we need to do is to copy this tag and paste that into the code of our website. If you don't know how to do this, I can strongly suggest you to hire someone that can be helping you to add that into your code of your website. 
even there are a few website providers that they have support they have actual support where you can just ask them hey i have this uh google tag and i want to add this into my website but i actually don't know how to do this can you help me and voila they can be helping you to do that without having to pay absolutely anything because we do have the support uh with our website provider now we can start with the google ads we can start with the conversions we can start with the refund audiences we can start to the target ads so as i just said you guys it was a really really easy basic tutorial how we can set up the google analytics and we can how we can start to track some conversions here into the google analytics so hopefully guys it was a very useful video for you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this uh, Google Analytics tips, if you want to see uh, more advanced tools into the report, how to explore, how to create advertising into Google Analytics, you can let us know down below in the comment section and see what we can do for you. So thank you once again for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.